Hey everyone, Pragyan here, a first year MBBS student at AIMS New Delhi and welcome back to the channel. So today in this video, I will be discussing with you the most efficient strategy for the last two and a half months for tracking NEET 2022. So let's begin. So before we begin, let us have a look at the time left with us before NEET this year. So we have 28 days in May, 30 days in June, 16 days in July, which makes a total of 74 days. That is approximately two and a half months left with us before NEET this year, which is on 17th July 2022. These two and a half months are the most important part of your two year marathon journey for NEET. These two and a half months can either break you or make you based on how you utilize this time. Now coming on to an efficient timetable for these last two and a half months. And kindly note that you can use this timetable just as a reference to create your own timetable based on your sleeping and waking up time and the classes that you have and the mock tests that you give during the day. So just as an example, you can wake up at 9 a.m. Then from 9 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. you can freshen up that is brushing, bathing, and then you can have your breakfast. Then from 9.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. you will have your study slot 1, which is for a duration of 3.5 hours. Now before I move further, let me tell you the logic for this 3.5 hour duration study slot and not a 3 hour one. Now this is just to tune you to the final NEET exam day because as you all know that now NEET will be conducted for a duration of 3 hours 20 minutes. So you should have a study slot for at least 3 hours 20 minutes, but rounding it off, I made it to 3.5 hours. Then from 1 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. you can have your lunch. From 1.30 p.m. to 2 p.m. you will have your break one. The details about which I'll tell you in the next slide. From 2 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. you will have your study slot 2. From 5.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. break 2. From 6 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. study slot 3. From 9.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. you can have your dinner. From 10 p.m. to 1.30 a.m. you will have your fourth study slot. Then from 1.30 a.m. to 2 a.m. you can plan for the next day. And then finally from 2 a.m. to 9 a.m. you can have a sufficient sleep for 7 hours. So as we all saw that we had 4 study slots for a duration of 3 and a half hours each which adds up to a total of 14 hours of study during a day. So talking about the 14 hours study plan. So we can study 4 different subjects or a mixture of subjects in a particular slot. So as just as an example you can see that we can study botany in slot 1. Physics in slot 2, Chemistry in slot 3, and Geology in slot 4. But the subject to be read in a particular slot should be decided by you based on the difficulty of that subject for you. Just as an example, you can study Biology or Inorganic Chemistry in the morning slot because these subjects require a lot of cramming and as we all know that our brain is most receptive in the morning just after waking up. Now, talking about the two breaks that you had during the day. Break 1 from 1.30 pm to 2 pm and break 2 from 5.30 pm to 6 pm. Break 1 can be utilized for infotainment like watching a graphical explanation or a concept in which you have a doubt or you can use this break to talk to your parents, your family or your friends. And then in break 2, you should do at least some amount of physical exercise because if you are healthy only then can you focus completely with an active mind. Or you can have a power nap in these breaks and you are completely free to decide it for yourself that what you are going to do in these breaks. Now talking about the approach that you should have during these last two and a half months. So from 4th May to 14th June, that is one and a half months, you should focus either on syllabus completion or revision, whatever the case may be. Like if you are done with the syllabus, then focus on revision. But if you are yet to complete the syllabus, then of course focus on syllabus completion. Then you should put more focus on bigger topics. Then you should give mock tests. But in these initial one and a half months, you can give mock tests at least twice in a week. Now from 15th June to 15th July, that is the last one month. So during this last one month, you should attempt previous year papers at least for the last 10 years. Then you should attempt mock tests, but now at least once every day. And every mock test should be followed by its error analysis, which is more important than the test itself. As I always say, then now you have to follow the retrospective way of revision. Like if you committed a mistake in a particular topic or concept in the exam, then you come back and read that topic or concept from your NCRT. Now talking about the last movement tips for these last two and a half months. Of course, your main focus should be on NCRT because as we all know, 
that ncert and neat are almost synonymous now then be disciplined stay motivated whenever you feel like giving up think of the reason that why you started this journey then don't lose your focus don't experiment with new extra topics just focus and revise and study all the topics which are given in ncert and don't go much beyond it and also don't experiment with your paper attempting strategy because now it's not the time to experiment with it the strategy which you had during the past 2 years just stick to that strategy for attempting the paper and most importantly don't waste your time as in the beginning of this video i said that these last 2 and a half months are the most important part of your entire preparation journey so make every second of these last 2 and a half months count towards your success that's it for today guys thanks for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and close youtube right now and start studying and i know that you will certainly crack need this year signing off bye bye